One of the first steps you need to take when you are setting up your Investor Care website is if you're using a custom domain name, so your own domain name for your website, which we highly, highly suggest, uh, you need to update your DNS information. And what we use for that is called CNAME, C-N-A-M-E. And what that does is uh, it's different than normal DNS settings. If, if, you, if you're familiar with those, awesome. If not, don't worry about it. It's kind of fancy tech speak. I'm going to walk you through step by step how to do this in GoDaddy if you bought your domain from, Go, from GoDaddy. But all a CNAME is, and the reason why we use a CNAME rather than DNS, is when you, when you point DNS settings to our server, that means it points everything about that domain name to our server. It points the website there, it points the email there, it points everything. But we want it to give you full control over your domain. So CNAME actually allows us to give you that control. And when, when we add the CNAME, the way that we're going to show you how to in this video, pointing that toward our server, all that does is says for this domain name, when someone types it in, send them to the server for the website. But that lets you still hold control over where the email goes, how to manage your email, all that kind of stuff. So the first thing you're going to do is log into your GoDaddy account. And I just logged in here on the home page and click my account up here in the upper left. Okay. So then what we're going to do is go ahead and scroll down to the uh, area where it shows your domains. Go ahead and click domains, the little green button over here that says launch. That's going to launch you into a new screen. From here, there's a list of your domains. And the list of your domains is here. Go ahead and click the domain that you want to uh, put on our website. We'll click the multiple domains, do them one at a time. I'm just going to go ahead and click this one. And it's going to take you into the area where you can actually manage the settings for that domain. And there's a few different uh, settings in here. Uh, GoDaddy tends to change their uh, platform quite a bit, so hopefully it looks a lot like you're, you're seeing right here right now. But what you're going to do is click this little button that says DNS zone file. So go ahead and click that. It's going to open up the DNS zone file settings for this domain name. And go ahead now and click edit. And this is going to open up another new box that now allows us to edit the DNS settings for uh, this domain. And now you're going to see a bunch of fancy stuff here, all kinds of stuff that we don't really need. The next thing you're going to do is scroll down um, to this area. You can see this says C name in parentheses alias. So this is the section we want to work under is the C name alias. Okay, make sure you're under this section, C name section, not the A section and not the MX section. It has to be under the C name section. Okay, so scroll down. And what you're going to want to do is have opened this tutorial page for GoDaddy here on help.oncarrot.com. Um, it's actually on the page that you currently are watching this video. So scroll down and you're going to see the information that we need to be putting into the system. So I'm just going to scroll down here and look at exactly what you're looking at, the, the screen here with the information. And I'm going to scroll down. So this is the one that we're, going to look, that we're looking at right here. We're on step two. So we're now going to be adding the CNAME record. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is click quick add under the CNAME section. So let's go ahead and do that. We're under the CNAME section once again. You can see right there it says CNAME. Go down here where it says Quick Add. Go ahead and click that and bounce back to see what we need to do next. So next it says for the host section type www. So I'm just going to copy that under host. So you can see the, the, the call in there says host. Let's go ahead and put www there. And now it says next for the points to section type in on carrot.com. So let's go ahead and copy that. And this is the points to section paceoncare.com um, and if there's another host with www be sure to delete it below and then save zone file okay so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, hover over this one because this is another www just like the instructions show and we don't want this one to be there so I'm going to click that to get it out of there and we're going to click save zone file it says you're about to modify your existing zone file are you sure you want to save your changes I'm going to click yes okay and it is making the changes. And what, what it says now here is, is that sometimes it can take up to, tw up to 48 hours for the changes to take effect. We rarely, rarely ever see that happen. Usually it's, it's within hours. Mostly it's within a day. And once again, this isn't something that we can control. This is all up to GoDaddy. But let's go ahead and click OK. So that's um, the, the first major step to updating your C name. So let's go back and look at it now. 
So there's C name. You can just make sure that there's a www on carrot.com and we're good to go. Okay, so the very last step here in actually going into GoDaddy and doing what you need to do for your C name is we need to now make it to where when someone types in the www before your domain. So if your domain is abcrealestate.com, uh, this is what we're taking care of for when someone types in www.abcrealestate.com. Okay, so this next step is pretty simple and we're going to dive back into GoDaddy to show you how to do this here in a jiffy. Okay, so we just updated the C name information and uh, once again, the C name zone file editor in GoDaddy pops up into its new box. So we're done over here. We can go ahead and X that out. What this is going to do now, it's going to drop us back over here under the domain details. And what we're going to do next, once again, is step three within the C name uh, setup. And that's adding this, this non WW redirect. So once again, when someone types in uh, your website without the WW, it's going to redirect to the version with the WW. Okay. So what we need to do is just go ahead and go back into domain details and click settings. So you were here on DNS zone file before, click settings to go back here. And we're going to go to this forwarding section. Let's go ahead and click manage under the word domain. Okay, so go ahead and click manage. It's going to bring up this manage section. Click add one now. So we're going to be setting up a forward. And in this box, enter in uh, what it mentions to enter in here. So enter in the website with the www in it. So whatever your website is, enter that in right here. This particular website, let me X out and grab that domain here. Here's the domain, just because I didn't remember the domain off the top of my head. Uh, once again, click add one now, and I'm just gonna go ahead and plunk that domain in there, but put a www there, and make sure it's all lowercase. Okay, so this one's how to sell a house ie.com make sure it's all lowercase in there and you can always look back over here to the uh, to the the written tutorial just to make sure that you're good to go and click add now you can see here is the forward so here's the forward to your domain name with the www a forward only and it's a permanent and go ahead and click save and that's it. So that's the last step in your C name inf information. Now, don't forget that there is one more step uh, in this process of updating your uh, information and adding your uh, domain to your website. Once again, the, the last step in there is after you've done your, your C name information inside of GoDaddy, then what you're going to do is go back to the main tutorial for using a custom domain name. So go over here and then step three over there. Is just one simple thing. It'll take you 15 seconds. You just have to add that domain in to your website. And just follow this. It'll be really, really easy. And you're good to go. Once again, this, this step right here can't be done until you have access to your website. So if you don't have access to your site yet, uh, hold tight. We're building your website. If you do, go ahead and log in. You can complete this step now. Thanks. If you have any questions, always hit us uh, on support at support at oncarrot.com or our live chat. Thanks.